retail businesses, if you go to a store like Gap, or you go to <coughs> stores even like Target, roughly 75% of the people working there are part-time, and they're trying to keep them under the 35 hours a week so that they don't have to pay benefits. When it gets above that, the benefit fees go up. So you can see that in our business, we actually have a, a, a slightly higher percentage of full-time workers than most retail businesses do. Even places like Gap may only have two or three full-time employees. Everybody else are part-time. Now, someone here that's dealing with seniors was talking about that there's a terrific niche in the mm -hmm. convenience store business is, yeah. for seniors. Most convenience stores run three eight-hour shifts if it's a 24-hour location in an area. Now, you go to Florida as an example where there's some areas it's very hard to find young workers because it's a very senior area. Some of those convenience stores change to where they actually run six-hour shifts, four sixes versus three eights. So you can bring more seniors in who are willing to work six hours but are not interested in working eight-hour shifts. So that attracts them. The other advantage in the six-hour shift is that if somebody doesn't show up for work and an employee agrees to work a double, they're only working 12 hours. If you're running eight-hour shifts, that's 16 hours. And if you've got seniors working in that, that's very hard for them to do. You'll burn the people out and wind up quitting. Okay, a couple good questions. James, you go first. Maybe. Is that also related to the fact to, to product, um, the fact that most of their products are are usually set up by the distributor, distributor delivers, you know, sold or... No, I'm going to get into that yeah. when we cover the mm -hmm. category management. Yeah. This is um, more because a lot of the stores you'll go to, when you go in there in the evening, most of the employees are part-time people. Mm -hmm. And they just draw from the schools, the universities, the high schools, and they have, you know, the older kids working. Same right. thing on weekends. Right, but, but not I'm, because of the products. Right, but what I'm saying is that there's, there's less maintenance um, I, I would assume that there's less maintenance for that than there would be for a Macy's store or for a... Uh, well, well, just because of size. It, it depends on the size of the store mm -hmm. and how the store buys. Mm -hmm. There is distribution systems that are called full service where a vendor like a company called McLean or Cormark will come in, they will inventory the store, which is most of the products you carry, all your health and beauty care products, all your uh, grocery products, some of your beverages, your tobacco, and it's called full service where they'll go in, they'll paint the inventory, they'll write the order, and then when the order comes in, they know when it's being delivered, they have a rep that comes to the store and puts stuff away. Other stores order strictly self-service, which means the stuff comes in in crates or what are called totes. Then they'll sit there and then the employees are responsible for putting the box away. So there are several things that, are, that enter into that. Okay. Good question.